In this next very brief um, set of slides, we will discuss the amount of time that water spends in each of the different natural reservoirs on Earth. So there's really only one slide to this mini, mini lecture, and this is it. So here we're looking at how often the water gets cycled, or basically how long. When we talk about residence time, that's how long is the water staying in this reservoir. So it goes from the shortest to the longest period of time. And so basically, you don't need to memorize the amount of time water spends in each one. But I want you to have an idea of where water stays the longest and where water stays for the shortest amount of time. So biosphere, or living things, we hang on to water for the shortest amount of time. So you can imagine when you drink a glass of water, it doesn't stay in your body for years and years. Um, the average residence time of all living things, so plants and animals, is about a week. Atmospheric water isn't much longer, so water that evaporates goes into the atmosphere. It only stays there for about a week and a couple days before it's going to fall to Earth um, as some sort of precipitation. Uh, the next shortest is rivers. So rivers, that water is busy. It's going from one place to another. It's not really meant to stay in the river for long periods of time. Some exceptions might be really big rivers like the Amazon River. That water takes a while to get from where it falls um, all the way to the ocean where it's going to drain out. But the average river residence time is about two weeks. Swamps, we're talking now, we're, we're moving into years. So swamps, anywhere from one to ten years, that water hangs around. It gets kind of murky and yucky. Um, that's, um, these are very important ecosystems, and this water does hang around for longer. And you can think a swamp is very similar to a lake. So a lake, a lot of that water stays there for years. Um, so ten years is about the average residence time for water in a lake. Soil, there's this huge variation. So you can imagine during growing season, water falls um, onto soil as precipitation. The plants extract that water and transpire it back into the atmosphere. So during growing season, that water might not stay in the soil very long. Um, during winter or during uh, very, very wet periods of time, the water will get into the soil and it can stay there for long periods and it can infiltrate down into groundwater and it takes a while for that infiltration to occur. So soil is anywhere from two weeks to a year. And I just noticed that this is kind of out of, out of order. Soil really should be up higher. Um, but all of these then are in the process of one to ten years. Or in the, in the yeah, in the region of one to ten years. Now we're going to head into really long residence times. So the last three natural reservoirs hold on to water for really long periods of times. Glaciers and ice caps on average hold on to water for about a thousand years. This may be changing as we have global climate change and a lot of glaciers and ice caps are, are melting and so they're starting to um, not hang on to that water very much. but Basically, when water falls on the top of a glacier and then it moves down, it takes a long time to get through the glacier to where it melts and drains um, into other places. Oceans. Once water, a water molecule gets into the ocean, it hangs out there for a really long time, about 4,000 years. And then groundwater, similarly, um, it can stay there for thousands of years once the water molecule gets into a deep aquifer. If it's a shallow aquifer, it may be for, there for a short amount of time, so as short as two weeks. So it depends on where the aquifer is, if it's being pumped out, if it's draining into a natural spring, or if it's something really deep that isn't accessed easily, then it's going to stay there a long time. Okay, and so all of the data for water cycle came from the U.S. Geological Survey Water Science for School site. I encourage you to check it out if you'd like any more information about any of the processes, reservoirs, or information that we discussed in this water cycle series.